Hello everyone, it's Norelle here from Cricut Explore Maker and More Facebook group and today I'm going to show you how to assemble this faux book box that I have just released uh, into my Design Space profile. You'll find that by going to the Design Space homepage and typing in Norelle Darley and you'll find my profile at the bottom. You'll actually notice that there will be two profiles for my name. So um, make sure you select the correct one and I'll put a screenshot of that uh, at the end of this video so that you know which one that this project has been actually saved to. So this is a uh, faux book box that looks like a book. And then when you open it up, it has a box inside and it has this concertina style insert. Now I'm not sure if I can get that on camera there to show you. I think that does it. Um, and what I'm going to show you is how to assemble this inside piece here. The rest of it is very easy to put together. Uh, I'm going to put most of that together and just zoom through that so you don't have to sit and watch me just stick bits of paper onto other bits of paper but I will take you through step by step how to create this inside concertina piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is go and put together most of this and then I'll be back to show you the next step that you need to do. Okay, so I've put most of that together now uh, and I'm ready to go and assemble the inside pieces. Now you're going to find in the project, you're going to have two pieces like this that has seven score lines uh, along there and that's a tall piece. So you'll have two of those and when you fold them, you're going to end up with something like this. And then you're going to have two pieces, the same as this, but shorter, which when folded, you'll get these. So I've done the three so that uh, that will make this a little bit quicker. So I'll show you how to do the fourth one. And it's very, it's very, uh, very easy matter of just accordion folding those pieces. Like so. And then you'll end up with two of those and two shorter ones. So I'm just going to give that a bit more of a crease. Okay, so now we're going to take one of the long ones and one of the short ones. 
and you're going to basically just slot those into each other. So I'm going to just put that up at the top there so you can see that. And I'm just going to put this one here at the front of this one. And then all the others will just slot inside like so. And then just try and get that as snug as you can. Um, squeeze those shut to make that a little bit easier and then just push them in as far as they'll go. You're then going to put some glue on this piece here and then flip that over and put some glue just in there. So I'll go ahead and do that. And just make sure you keep that nice and snug as you're doing that. Flip that over and put some glue on this tab here. And then that piece is done. So we'll leave that to set. And then we're going to do the exact same thing with this one. Because this, when assembled, is going to sit like this. Now it doesn't matter whether this tab's at the front or or inside because it's going to be covered by this piece so none of those joints are going to show so it doesn't matter which way you do this so we'll do the same thing again pop that in there squeeze them shut so that I can push them together and then put my glue on that over, do the other side and again just let that set. So we'll just leave that to set for a minute and I'll flip that one over because that's how this is going to go together. So once that's dry, you're then going to slot this one into here and this one into here. So let's just go ahead and do that. Again, it doesn't matter whether this piece goes at the front or behind because it's going to be hidden. And slot that in there. Make sure it's nice and snug. And then glue those two tabs Put that round and then we'll do the other side again slot them in make sure it's nice and snug and glue the tabs. Okay, so once we've done that, we've then got our concertina piece that's going to go inside the book. And you can see once we've glued that down, um, it's a lot thinner than it originally was when we first had it folded. It's, it's come down to about half the size once you slot everything in and glue that, which means it's a perfect size to sit inside the book. So, again, it doesn't matter which way you put this, but what I'm going to do is get it as central this way as I can and make sure you don't sit it right up against that fold because if you, if you glue that in right on that fold, it won't close properly. So just move that over to the right a little bit, making sure that it's not poking out over those round corners. So I'm going to do that. And then before I glue that down, I'm just going to put this on top just to make sure that it doesn't um, poke over the sides either. It's a little bit bigger than this piece, just so that we know that it's to going to totally cover it. 
So that's going to sit like that. Okay, so I'll take that off. I kind of know where it's going to sit. So I'll put my glue on here. Uh, you can use tape for all of this if you wish. Um, glue is just a little bit quicker when you're filming a video. So we'll pop that in there. Again, making sure that it's central this way. You can actually see that when I've put this back piece on, I've actually put that on a little bit crooked. So I'm going to just try and cover that as much as I can so that it's not noticeable. And I think that's about right. So we'll pop that on there. And then I can go ahead and I can put this piece on top. So there you go. So you should have noticed when I was putting this together that I put this little bit of ribbon and glued that to the uh, front of my, my large pink piece. Um, my two pieces of ribbon were about nine inches long, eight and a half to nine inches long, and then that gave me a good inch or so to put in here. And then when you tie that, if it's too long, you can just cut off the little bits that you don't need. So I did the same there and I did the same on the back. So I've glued that to the, to the pink piece uh, and then put my decorative piece over the top of that. Now the spine, you don't actually need to use that bit if you don't want to. You can just uh, leave it so that it's blank um, and that means you'll see all of that piece that you put on there. Uh, the, good, the good thing about using the spine is that you can decorate that as much as you want. You could, you could um, put another piece, you could get another piece of this size, so just cut another piece of that from Design Space and you could put that there if you wanted to. You don't have to use this piece if you don't. You can put anything you like. You could maybe put a strip of gems or something like that on there, whatever um, suits your project. So then all you need to do is then just tie that together and then trim off the ends if you want to. I'll just leave that like that. I'll just neaten them up here like so. And there you go, you've got that. And then you can just add whatever embellishments you want to the front and you can also add more um, images or whatever you like to the inside and then you can put whatever you want inside there that's going to fit that um, depth so the depth is about three quarters of an inch i'd say um, yeah so hopefully you find that useful and uh, as i said you'll find this on my profile in design space if you can't find that just pop into cricut explore maker and more facebook group and you'll find a post with the with this project on there and you'll be able to get the link from that so again i hope that uh, that was helpful hope you enjoyed that and i'd love to see uh, what you make from using this project post it into my group so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time